What's up, squad? Back at him again, man, when they thought it was finna end. Thank y'all for riding with me. Well, you knew you felt a lot in with your boy stories with V. Hey, it's time, family. Y'all already know what I need y'all to do for us, man. Like, share, comment, smash that subscribe button, y'all. Why? Come on now, we on that road to 100K. And if you new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's an honor and a pleasure. So listen, sit back, relax. You can take a seat on the bed or cop a squad on the toilet seat. I got the rest of the show from here. To that one and only V squad, they know the model, man. Listen. Ain't no squad like our squad because they don't mob how we mob. So with that being said, we're going to continue to push, mob, put them numbers up, and dominate 2024. It's our year. But listen, man, we done rocked and rolled all day with the lives. The good man who called in the story today, he said, dang, V-Man, why you ain't throw the video up for me? So I got you to definitely make sure to get on the video platform. So boom, my little man said he down in jail one day. So boom, Lord, do you come? He gets locked up off the street. Now, when he get locked up off the street, he got a well-known vicious reputation. He known for putting stuff down. He real vicious He real vicious with the iron. But, like I always tell people, when you get locked up, you got to check that weapon and at the door, you got to be a man and play with these. So, boom, he gets over there. He ended up being spotted. Now, when he get moved on a unit, dudes, they don't really do nothing to him the first day or two. But around the second or the third day, he over there laid up on his bed. They say he over there asleep. Two, three dudes get up. They goes over there to the bed, drag him off the bed, drag him to the bathroom. Now, when they drag him to the bathroom, they pin him down. Somebody got the razor and the shaving cream. They shave his eyebrows off, shave his mustache off, and shave his uh, beard off. Boom. After they do that, he got the scully on his head. They pop the scully off, throw the shaving cream on there, shave all of it off. Now, somebody got the little paper K. If you know what the paper K is, you already know what it is. They got a blunt roll for real. They making him hit it. Boom. So now he pumping the K in him, and they just shaved his head bald. But... He came in, his real name is Felix. From that point on, once he got out the bathroom and they sent him back to his bunk, the one dude go over there, uh, slap fire out on him, boom! He tell him, listen, from this point on, whenever somebody call you Felix, you bet not answer. Your new name is from is Felicia from this point on, and that's what the fuck you better answer to. I lie to y'all not. From that point on, the only name that he answered by was Felicia, man. I'm talking about one of the craziest things I've ever seen, man. But jump this into two of this situation. Now, we on the block one day. Now, we got one of my homeboys around the way, outstanding member. But he more so known as a hustler, for real. He one of them type dudes. He make your neighborhood look good, for real. He always got the newest car. He always in, in love with jewelry. He walk around with the skinny jeans, but he got two, three thousand dollars in each pocket, for real. He was like a show off. He was a flashy little dude. But like I told you, he make the neighborhood look good. So boom. One day we having a little cookout, but matter of fact, let's back up a little bit. The day before the cookout, he pulled up on the block. He got like a G37 Infinity. So when he pulled up for real, he, he telling us like, man, listen, I'm ready to swap this in tomorrow. I'm ready to get the Q series. That was like a big boy Infinity for real. Like the G was cool, but the Q series, that was a whole nother level. So he like, shit, I'm ready to swap out tomorrow. And I'm ready to get my new ice. So everybody on the block, of course, you know, you got dudes on the block. If it's 30 motherfuckers on the block, probably only 15 of them really getting money. The other 15, they just just on some hang around leeches type stuff. So boom, everybody all around him. What boy, you ready to go get the chain? What you getting? He like, shit, I'm ready to get the big boy Cuban chain and I'm ready to get a bust down. Uh, I'm ready to get a bust down Rolly with the face bust out. Everybody like, damn boy, you ready to kill him. You ready to crush him. Boom. He like, all right, we all right there. Cool and smooth. And he jumps in the car, dip. Now fast forward the next day, I guess he go grab his ice in his new car in the morning. But we having a cookout later on that day on the block. So boom. He don't pop up on the block the whole day from early that morning to probably like 7.30, 8 o'clock. The cookout probably started around 3 o'clock. So he popping up. You already know fashionably late. He want to make a major entrance. Boom. He pulled down the block. Man, it was getting dark by this time. So when he pulled down... The G, the G37 that he had, had regular lights. The Q-Series got like the light up blue lights. So you're going to see it and you're going to hear it. It's a big body car. Boom. All we see is blue lights come down the block. You can hear the engine growl. Boom, boom, boom. He pull up, pop, jump out. Now when he jump out, I can't lie. The chain hitting so icy. You damn near see it as he getting out the car. Boom. He jumps out the car. Of course, he come holler at everybody. We dapping him up. But when you get right there, the whole temperature change because you got the bras right there that want to see the chain, the jewelry. They try and get next to him. You got the little kiss-ass dudes around the way. They try and get next to him. They want to see the jewelry. But boom, little do we know it's two dudes that's parked at the top of the block. Now, when we end up getting the backstory, I'm going to get to that later. 
their initial plans was they was just going to rob the cookout. They was going to go ahead and point pick who they think they can rob. And then before the cookout was over, they was just going to pluck them off. Or they could have just came right there and tried to lay the whole cookout down. I ain't really got them doing that, but they could have. So, boom. Everybody continue their night. We enjoy the cookout come later on that day. Bro Ray leave, but instead he stay right there and roll one more blunt before he jump in the car. Now, as everybody scattering and jumping in their car, Lord Dude come walking down the block. He don't got no mask on or nothing, so ain't nobody really looking at him suspicious. And like I just said, we having a cookout, so the whole block didn't have strangers coming through that whole day. Boom. He walked past Bro right here rolling up the blunt. So now when Shorty bypass, he looked back like, damn, bro, that motherfucker icy. Where you get it from up uh, such and such jewelry? Now he's starting to act like he no fine jewelry. He's starting to act like he, he got a chain from where Shorty got his chain from. So he like, man, where you get that from up there with uh, such and such? He like, yeah, he like, man, what type diamonds it is, man? What they SI, V1s? He like, man, stop playing with me. You know they VVSs. But when he do it, he like show him the chain like this and lift it up. Whole time, shorty, look, get a little closer. He grabbed that motherfucker. Boom. Now, when he grabbed it, he turned around and go to take off. Now, at first, like I told you, everybody sitting right there stuck because it's like, I know he ain't just grab his chain and take off. Now, the first thing everybody thinking is that I, I lied to you not. Everybody start looking around like, man, what the fuck is cameras around here, bro? We'll be being pranked. Whole time, they hear shorty really getting out of there. He keep running. Now, I lied to you not. My man right there, he realized that it ain't a joke. And he started to think, oh, man, this chain probably cost like $15,000, 20000 He come out the dip. Now, me, I'm in the parking lot across the street with the little bra. So, only thing I remember seeing, I don't even remember what type joint it was, but I know it was a long nose, probably like a 380 or a 357. When he whipped it up, it took him a minute to get the whole thing out. Boom, he just get the cracking at him. Bum, 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 bum. Now, he let off probably like four shots. One of them hit the little dude in the shoulder. Bum, but the adrenaline keeping him going. Whole time he hit one more, hit him like in the lower back. Bum, he just falls to the ground. When he falls to the ground, you see his hand stretch out and the chain fall off the curb onto the street. Bro go right there. Now, he go to stand over him for real. He really work out. All you hear somebody say, no, nah, bro, not right here. That shit gonna be too hot. Whole time he just pistol with him. Bum, bum, bum. He beat him like three times with that bitch stand over him. He grabbed his chain. Now, when he grabbed his chain, he started taking off because he knows it's a matter of time before the police come. Everybody starts scattering. Forget just him. Everybody starts scattering. Boom. Everybody jump in their car. Skirt, skirt. All you hear is skirt, skirt. Everybody get up out of there now. Of course, fast forward the next day, one or two, three days later, because, of course, we thinking like, man, we don't know what happened to him. We left him right there. By the time we left, he was still laid out right there doing whatever he was doing. Boom. Of course, this is our block, so you got people that live right there. We got this little family. They got like two, three sisters that live around our way. We jump on the phone, call them. So she like, man, y'all not going to believe what happened. We like, shit, what time out and them came around there? They like, yeah, they did. And the ambulance. But by the time they got around here, wasn't nobody here for them to get. So we like, man, what the fuck you mean? They say while Shorty was laid right down on the ground, he turns over, jump on the phone, call somebody. About five, ten minutes later, I guess the dude that he was at the top of the street with, he comes running down the uh, he come running down the street. He get right there, get him up. He calls a ride, a car pull up. Both of them get inside the car. They shoot down to the hospital. She just guessing because she know he got bullet wounds in him. So we like, damn, what the fuck? So now we start putting one and two together. Like, oh, all right, it must have been two of the little dudes up there now. Backstory on his homeboy because word came back about him too. He gets so scared that when my man let the shots off, he never moves from at the top of the block. He was supposed to come down his back up and clean everything else up, but he ended up getting scared, so he never moved. So that was a wicked and wild situation, man. But senseless crimes, yo, like you costed yourself more than you was willing to pay all over a chain that you ain't even get to get in the end. But like I told y'all, man, wicked and wild. So with that being said, Ma, so now boom, we over the joint during this time now. As we over there for real, like I told you, my little man Tony, he on crutches. So it was always something or some reason that somehow his crutches always ended up being used as a weapon. So now I told y'all I had got into an argument with the little uh, worker man dude. Me and him almost got into it, but he ended up calling down, calming down. If y'all ain't see that, y'all can go back to tonight's live, man. We rock and roll. Or y'all can go back and find that episode. But so now... The dude that's running a civilian phone for real, he get up one day and I guess he getting mad because the day prior to that, dudes was hogging the line. He ain't end up getting his second clip. Now, this go to show you how greedy people is. He had already got on the phone probably like two times earlier that day, but he think because he run the phone, he entitled to getting on the phone three, four times. So boom, whole time come the next day, he wake up early in the morning. He writing the list down. The way the phone is, when you get up in the morning or prior that day, you'll be like, yo, hey, 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 Trell, put me on the phone first, bro. I ain't get to go today. So forth and so on in there and make a list. So now, boom, 
He wake up, he come out, he telling everybody, look, man, if motherfuckers don't do their right time, or if you try and double click, bro, I'm ready to tell motherfuckers they can't get on the phone. So now it's a little fat dude up there. He like, man, who the fuck is you, man? It's a state phone. Yeah, I mean, I know you running the list and all that, bro, but you don't run the phone now. Fat baby for real. He don't really think that Trout a soldier. He think he only run a civilian phone because he been here longer than everybody. And I guess whoever had the phone before he got it, they gave it to him. So now him and Trout get to getting into it for real. They get into a little argument, but it don't get physical. Come later on that day, big baby on the phone. Now he on the phone for 15 minutes, you get clips. But I guess he bought a phone call from somebody else. Like, man, give me your pen number. Let me get this real quick. Boom. So now he go to double clip. Trout come right there like, man, what is you doing? Yo, I just told you ain't no double clipping. So now Fat Baby like, man, if you don't get the fuck out of my face while I'm on the phone, bro, I swear to God, I'll break your jaw right here. So now Trout get the back and up. He don't go forward. That's how you can always tell if somebody bluffing. He take two, three steps back. What? Man, I told you, man, we not doing a double clip. Whole time Big Baby puts the phone down. He stepped towards me. He said, man, what the fuck you trying to do? Trout like, all right, that's a bet, man. That's a bet. Big Baby go back on the phone, finish his phone call. Whole time as Big Baby Ray finished, Trout take a step coming back for him. Like, man, you know what? As a matter of fact, before he can even get the words out, man, all you see is Big Baby come off the phone with the phone still in his hand. He catch Trout dead in his jaw. Boom. Now, when he hit him, of course, y'all already know that. You hear that famous cool pop. Bing. Now, Big Baby turn around. He's so mad. Like, man, look what the fuck you done made me do. Whole time he like, fuck it. I might as well go all the way with it now. Man, he punished Trout with the phone in his hand. Ma, ma, ma. This what you wanted, right, bitch? Ma, ma. This what you were asking for, right? I'm talking about, man, he punished him whole time. Dudes is stuck because no nobody's trying to get involved in it, the, 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 the craziest thing you can try to do is break up a fight with somebody when they rage and mad because it ain't no telling what they're going to do. If you try to get in the middle of that, they bound to hit you with the phone. Man, get out my face. Whole time, dudes like, uh, big baby, chill, man, shut up. Whole time, he just finished working them until, of course, somebody that he was actually cool with came. All right, that's enough, bro. They get him off of there. But COs end up hitting the tear. May say, bye, we get locked down. But crazy all over a phone man when trail you already was getting two three phone calls a day you ended up getting punished because you were so greedy you wanted to make five phone calls a day man but y'all know how i go but with that man said mob y'all know what it is thank y'all for riding with me well you know you found a lot then with your boy stories will be at this time y'all know what i need y'all to do like share comment smash that subscribe button also, tell a friend to tell a friend. Rush over here and join the VMAR family. Make sure y'all tap in with us, man. We dominating this thing, man. Hotlines, live videos, uh, uh, regular videos, man. We making it do what it do. VMAR, but no squad, man. Get with us. Hey, VMAR, we out. Let's go. Just figured it all. We been cool. Drop that same joint. Just go straight by. Even just now, we'll get back. Ten thousand, fifteen thousand.